And a federal discrimination investigation is happening right now at the University of Illinois at Chicago. It's one of the number of schools across the country that have reported a rise in anti-Semitism, anti-Muslim, and anti-Arab incidents. NBC 5's Lexi Souter has our story. I'm not surprised, honestly. This UIC medical student doesn't feel comfortable sharing her name, but she is willing to share her story. During COVID, the Chinese American student says she was discriminated against on this campus. And now she says her Muslim friends are experiencing that pain. I have some Muslim friends and they felt targeted by some of the Zionist students on campus um, who have said things that are anti-Muslim and anti-Palestinian. It's not just a rise in anti-Muslim incidents that is concerning to the Department of Education, but universities across the country are reporting a spike in anti-Semitism and anti-Arab incidents as well. This week, the University of Illinois at Chicago was added to a list of more than a dozen schools under federal investigation. What's happening now, and I think where it crosses the line from free speech, when it becomes intimidation. Representing the northern suburbs, Congressman Brad Schneider held a roundtable with college students this week to discuss the problematic behavior many young adults are facing. What I heard on Monday from our students, what I've heard from so many other people, there are circumstances and situations where uh, Jewish students, as well as Muslim students, are being made to feel unwelcome or unsafe and the administration, school administrations have a responsibility to address those issues. In a statement, UIC says it strives to be a place where everyone feels welcome and where all people, no matter what color, race, ancestry, age, sex, interests, sexual orientation, including gender identity, religion, disability, national origin, or marital status, can share perspectives and viewpoints to learn from one another. We take all allegations of civil rights violations seriously and will cooperate with any inquiries that may arise from a complaint. Lexi Souter, NBC5 News. Thanks to Lexi.